Was geht, Leute? Mein Name ist Aaron Fox und willkommen zur wahrscheinlich letzten Folge von Thorn in VR. Wir sind gerade in dem Aufzug, wo es zu dem berüchtigten Labor geht, dem er uns versprochen hatte. Und wahrscheinlich auch zu den letzten Puzzleteilen für unser Rätsel, wo, warum wir eigentlich dort sind, was mit Helbert und Rina passiert ist und was mit uns noch passieren wird. Ich bin gespannt. Ich hoffe, ihr seid auch gespannt. Nach dem Intro geht's los. Bis gleich. Der besagte Aufzug mit drei Abteilen. Bin gespannt. L steht wahrscheinlich für Lab. Das heißt drei Laborabteilungen. Könnte wahrscheinlich die letzte Folge sein, meine Befürchtung. Wir werden sehen. Ab zum ersten Level. Bin echt gespannt, was jetzt noch passiert. Allzu viel kann ja nicht mehr passieren. Wir haben alle acht Schüsse jetzt gefunden, sonst wären wir jetzt nicht hier. Uh. Aber tief runter geht es. Joch! Leute, es ist ein Riesenabteil. Ach du Scheißen. Ist das riesig. Oh, thank goodness you've made it. Welcome to the lab. Ach du Scheißen. Indeed. This is where Rina and I assembled our crown jewel. Isn't she a beauty? Ja. Ah, it's something, all right. But there's no time to waste. Here, let me walk you around and show you how everything works. You need to know all this when the time comes. Okay. When we put you back together again, here in the real world? Yes, exactly. Now, this operation was designed as a two-man operation. Rina Ach, du Scheiße, geht's so da tief runter. I'm afraid you'll have to do the work of two people when you're here. I'm pretty sure oh. I have no doubt ja. someone as young and healthy as Optimistisch yourself ist ja auf jeden Fall. No problem. Oh, good Lord, it's roasting down here. Let's get the air circulation running again. That should bring the temperature down. There's three okay. breakers nearby. Throw them to get the air moving again. Was soll ich machen? Ah. That's one down, just two to go. You found Noch eins. There are two more ah. here somewhere. Two down, one to go. Und dann wird wahrscheinlich auf der Seite sein. Ja. Let's take a look around. And that Miss Patterson is the capacitor. It's huge. It is indeed. Has to be in order to hold all the energy required to tear open a portal to another dimension. You say that like it's so obvious. It's incredible mm. is what it is. You see, what we do is trickle charge the capacitor. It builds up a massive amount of energy and then we fire it all at once in an extremely targeted way. The blast is so strong, it pricks a hole in the fabric of reality itself. It opens a door to the parallel. But that's only part of the story. It's all well and good to open the door, but the parallel is a world without limits, and that makes it dangerous. If one simply walked in, they could simply disappear. We realized that we had to give ourselves some guidance, and that's where the probes come in. Here, I'll show you. Do you see these devices mounted on the top? Yeah, klar. Those big plugs? Yeah, I see them. Those are the probes. Very important. They shape the signal to the parallel. It's essential that they're positioned just so. If they're even an inch out of place, we're in trouble. Why are they so important? How to explain? Have you ever had to use an antenna? 
I guess mm -hmm. once in a while. You know how you have to adjust it at times in order to pick up a signal. Sure, I guess. I have to move my phone around sometimes to get a better Wi-Fi signal. The same principle applies. Because, you see, the frequency is critical. You have to get it right. When it's tuned just so, then the information can flow. It's like a current of electricity into and out of the parallel. It's a bit like finding a radio station on the dial, I suppose. At first, just static, and then all of a sudden the music comes through loud and clear. Mm -hmm. I see. Look over here. Look at these computers. Do you see them? Wow, those are old school. Do you know what we use them for? Listening to really, really old music? No, we use them to store people. Say what? That's right at the moment of transit, the traveler becomes data, becomes ones and zeros, just for a moment. We needed a place to safely store that data because obviously it's very important that data reconstitutes back into flesh and blood when travelers return. Wow. My DNA is in these machines, or my genetic blueprint is anyway. We'll need to use the data stored in these machines to retrieve the blueprint so that I can be put together again. Correctly, of course. My head needs to be on my shoulders and so on. Everything where it's supposed to be. Now, look here on the lab floor. See anything unusual? You don't usually see a piano in a lab, eh? Mm -hmm. Rena insisted we move it down here so that she could play. She and I spent so much time in the lab, we added a few of the comforts of home. And there's nothing Rena loved more than her music. Aww, that's sweet. When I'm here, I can feel her close to me. Can't you? Uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah. Not really. You come now. Don't you? Perhaps just a little bit. Well, yeah. No. Nope. Okay. I guess I do, kind of. Indeed. At any rate, let's move on. Weiß auch was? Okay. Mann, sind das Riesenkabel, ey. Wo ist er denn? Ah, da ist er. Behind these sealed fire doors is one of the battery rooms. Good job we have these doors, actually. Those batteries can get a bit pungent, what with the chemicals and whatnot. Wouldn't want you passing out, miss. I do feel a little funny now that you mention it. Oh, can we da einfach, ah, einfach durchgehen? Ah, ja, scheinbar. And then we won't linger. All you need to know is that these batteries are critical to the operation. Without their the power, the capacitor would be useless. I have so a Befürchtung, that it will so schnell Aktionen kommen werden. Whoa! What's that los? Wir sind alle im Kreis gelaufen. So, what's next? Now then, it's time to take a look at something really special. Okay. Over here, this way to the weaver. Uh -huh. Down, please. It took over a year and a half just to build the capacitor. <laughs> it would have taken much longer if we hadn't had the gravity tool to assemble it. I had parts of it commissioned from factories all over the country. We assembled it here like the world's largest model kit. All right, here we are. Now, what is the device? God, it's not your fault. Whoa. There's the parallel foil. Recognize the umbilicus down there? You don't usually see it from this angle, eh? Oh, so the galaxy. What? The 
the ring, it weaves the cables that run down the side of the silo. Ich weiß nicht mehr, wo du bist. Ach, da. A person's data is transmitted down the umbilicus and then it's put back together again there at the foot of the machine. It's a bit like a telephone, you see? Phones send voices over wires to another location. But in this case, instead of transmitting our voices, we transmitted ourselves. Warte, 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 ich will hier kurz noch mal reingucken. Aha. Okay. Hier gibt's... Kann ich das... Zu? Warum ist das zu? Okay. Ah, please? What do you do when there's no one around to push these buttons for you? Oh, my dear. The elevator's not here for my benefit. Hmm. Sonst so? Wie lebt es sich so als Lichtkugel? Oh, good lord, look at that. I did a good job with that, didn't I? Mm. Oh, oh dear. dear. Must clean that sometime. Mm. Oh yeah. Was ganz nach oben? Ah, okay. If you wouldn't mind following me, please. Yo. Jetzt gehen wir wahrscheinlich zur Kommandozentrale. Dum, da, dum, da, din, din. Aber viel laufen muss man hier. Schon. Schubgeschäft. Ja, ich komm. Oh, sieht das nice aus. So ein Raumschiff. From up here, we can see the status of all the devices critical systems. It also comes with a pretty spectacular view. When the time comes, you'll need to come up here in order to adjust the probes. Mhm. The probes are the antenna, right? They pick up the signal? Exactly so. Now, we keep the probes locked in place and you'll need to unlock them by disengaging the magnetic clamping system. You'll do so by using these series of levers here by the side of the console. Okay. We need to go this way. Mhm. Mm Excuse me, young lady. This way. Yeah, yeah, ich komme. No, that's Hello, the opposite ich, lady. following. Also, ach, was soll's? We need to go this way. Once the probes are released from the couplings, you'll be able to use the gravity tool to reposition them into alternative sockets. Everything looks to be ship shape for now though, so let's head down to the barometer. Down, please. Mhm. Mm Wie Sie wünschen. Und dann hoffe ich, dass Sie mich mal was machen. Ich kann jetzt hier nicht die ganze Zeit rumlaufen. Schon 13 Minuten lang am rumlaufen. Mm -hmm. We might be able to cheat the system. If I get inside and bridge a circuit and you give the barometer a whack, it might skip to the next circuit. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, let's see if this works. Right there. Now. Okay, I think I've got it. Now give it a bash. Okay, bashing coming right up. Was? Okay. Jetzt geht's los. Äh, was soll ich machen? Give it a bash. Okay, das geht nicht. Hm. Muss ich da was machen? Nein. Ah. Okay, rein. Rein. I take it you found your way into the lab. How did the equipment look? Was there much damage? How was mm, the capacitor? Nö. Gut. That is the most mad scientist place I've ever seen. I don't take that as a compliment. Seriously, if people knew about that place? Let's not worry about other people right now. 
Best if we just get started. Uh, bitte schön. Ah. Ah. Yes. I see the lab. Okay. It's up remarkably well. Do you remember what I said to you? How I first described the lab? Don't know. You said a lot of things. I told you that things you've dreamed of are waiting for you there. Yeah, that was a weird thing to say. Let's see this through, Patterson. You're so important to me. You're helping me help Rena. I will forever be grateful. I will repay you. You have my word. If this fun. helps Rena, then cool. Your lips to God's ear, my dear. Now, if you have more memories for me. Here you go. Good. Good. Things are coming along. Now we can start to work on the extraction plan. With any luck, I'll be back in the real world soon. God, I can't wait to feel the sun on my skin and see real trees again. How do you feel? Corona. Who, me? I feel fine. Good. Because we're close. But we're not done yet. Oh. We should brace ourselves mentally for whatever comes next. We are facing many unknowns. For example, we don't know if I can even cross back over safely. We don't know if I'll be able to make the necessary repairs to the machine. Who knows if I can pinpoint her location or if she's even alive. I don't know if this will be a search and rescue operation or a search and retrieval operation. You understand my meaning? You're saying you don't know if you're saving Rena or just retrieving her body? Yes, exactly. I can't bear to think of that way, but I must. I have to prepare myself for every eventuality. You should too. I'll see you soon. Also wahrscheinlich geht's jetzt los. Wir werden die Maschinen jetzt betätigen. Mhm. Okay. Ja, ja, ich komme. Ich bin ein bisschen langsam zu Fuß unterwegs. Ja, 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 ja. Ich weiß nur nicht, wie lange der Prozess der Wiederherstellung dauern wird. So ein schneller Akt ist oder ist jetzt die ganze Folge einnehmen wird. Wir haben jetzt 13 Minuten und sind wir jetzt hier nur rumgelaufen, haben das Labor uns angeschaut. Also eigentlich quasi fast die Hälfte unserer Zeit. Ja, ja, ja eben deswegen. Uh -huh, yeah. Over here. One left. Durch die Testerspulen. Ich glaube, es sind doch Testerspulen. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Ja, ja, ich komm, ich komm. This way, please, follow me. Ah. Huzzah, we are in so. business. Right. So, now, los geht's. As I said before, when someone goes through the machine, their DNA is transformed into data. I don't mean to start you, Patterson, but you are on these tapes now. I am? Was? Each time you've gone into the parallel, the machines have facilitated your travel. And as a result, they had to capture some of you. Your data doppelganger is in these machines. For the moment, anyway. Well, let's delete that. Right now. We will write over these tapes. Don't worry. Whoa! Whoa. What was that? Oh, we lost it. There must have been an overload in the battery room. Oh, we don't have oh, to scheiße. Setback. Let's see if we can fix it. Okay. Was ist das für eine Substanz? Oh, 
this mess. Do you see those Ach so, gar keine. power couplings? First thing we need to do is take those out and replace them with spare batteries. Yes, master. Use the gravity tool to take out the burnt batteries right here. The batteries should just come right out, no problem. Just pull them towards you. Very good. Now it's out with the old, in with the new. We've got some spare batteries right there. Just pop them right in. Äh, Erstmal alle rausholen. Die nicht gehen. Komm. Oh. Die geht nicht. So ein Tool bräuchte man echt in der Realität, ey. Macht alles viel einfacher. Ähm, die war kaputt. Do you see those batteries on the floor? Those are the spares. Just pop them right in. Ja, ja, hier, weiß ich schon. Die sind okay da hinten. Nix. All you have to do is pick up those spare batteries and pop them right in. Mm -hmm. Und noch ein. Ne, die sind nicht. Do you see those batteries on the floor? Those are the yeah. spares. Just pop them right in. Mir fehlt nur noch eins. Das blitzt ja schon raus. Das ist schon mal nichts. Das blitzt auch. Ich brauche nur noch einen großen. Der da. Äh, da. So. Okay. Ah, please. Yo. Ooh. Here, I'll show you what to do in the control room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, gleich müsste es losgehen, Leute. They got me running all over the place. I know it's a bit mm -hmm. going up and down like this. Normally, yeah. Rena helps with this process. Now we need to power down the magnetic couplings so we can safely move the probes. Oh yeah, I remember. We need to release them before we can adjust them. Just pull the levers here to release the magnetic clamps. Welche? Einfach irgendwie. Okay. on the couplings that means yeah. we can move the probes follow me okay and who and da there are only two places where you can easily move the probes the gantry here or from the main lab floor oh, oh that's lovely uh, okay are you all right yeah i'm fine let's move the probe here This should help us dial äh, in the carriers. Hört ihr das, wie sie sich fühlt? Well done. On to the next probe. Meine Befürchtung. Meine Befürchtung, Leute. Warum? Irgendwas ist da komisch. 
have only two left to move. This should give us a much stronger signal to the parallel. Bacious? What's that? Okay, here we go. I feel so good. You don't? Oh dear. Perhaps it's all the energy you release. You'll be all right. Here, let's put that pro where it belongs. Goes just here. We're doing such good work. Only one probe to go. And the last oh, This is the last glorious. This is a hell of a job. This job never ends. It's quite a bit of work. Here you go. Just place it here. Sazam! All done. Okay, we need to head back to the control room to activate the magnetic clamps to secure everything before we can. Warum fühlt sie da was? Wir sind doch in der Realität eigentlich. Wo ist er? Ah. Oh, der ganze Weg wieder zurück. Yeah, some team. You give the orders and I do the work. Well, mm -hmm. dear, I'm not much use as a handyman now, am I? Now, let's get you back over to the room barometer so that you can report your progress down below. Things are going very well. Down, please. Also, ich befürchte, dass wir heute echt nicht weit kommen. Ich weiß nicht, barometer. wie lange das noch geht. Was ist? Achso, reingehen. Okay. Patterson, you don't look very well. How do you feel? Mm, not so great, to be honest. Well, give me a dose and let's talk about it. Warum ist er wie ein I need Therapeut? To Stay with me. We are nearly done. Think of Rina. I can't think about Rena because I don't even know Rena. I've never even seen her. Are you sure about that? Huh? Oh. Yeah, of course I'm sure. I've told you so much about her. She must feel very real to you by now. Nearly as real as I do. Mm, if you say so. Give us a bit more. That's a good girl. <sighs> Wouldn't you like to talk to her? Just once? I'm sure she'd very much like to talk to you. Hey man, yeah. she's your wife, not mine. I think about her all the time. I have so many questions for her. I want to know what happened. There's only one person to help solve that mystery, Patterson, and that's you. I'm counting on you. Everything hinges on you. <laughs> You're really making me out to be more important than I am. Uh, again, please. Wenn ich jetzt drücke, werde ich wahrscheinlich die Lösung bekommen. Leute, was ist, wenn wir Rina sind? I hate to be a bother, but would you? Oh no, Patterson, you're incredibly important. You're the linchpin, I'd say. Just tell me what I need to do so that we can wrap this up. Okay, we are getting very close. Go back to the lab. We need to do some fine-tuning of the probe's position for the carrier signal. You're doing a wonderful job, Patterson. Don't stop now. I'm counting on you. Hey. Oh, Leute, es wird, es wird richtig freaky. I guess we're not done yet. The probes need an adjustment, and we need to lock the weaver down, too. The probes are delicate things. Not surprising to hear that they need a bit of fine-tuning. Well, no rest for the wicked, eh? Let's get started. Where do we start? Wohin? Up, please. Schau wieder. Oh. Was ist, wenn das eigentlich... Unser Gehirn ist. Also metaphorisch gesehen. Und wir quasi uns wieder rekalibrieren. 
um Erinnerungen zu bekommen, die verschollen waren. Was ist, wenn wir Rina sind? Ja, gut, ich kann es auch wahrscheinlich von der Seite machen. Wo ist er? Oh, Mann. Hey, three more. Are you sure I'm not being exposed to radiation or something? Why do you say that? Well, when we move the probes, I don't feel so great. It's just the physical effort, that's all. It was a challenge for me as well. You can do it. I have faith in you. Ah, Mann, jetzt ist er wieder hier. Dieser Talbot. Ah, der fliegt überall hin. Again, that sick feeling. It will pass, my dear. Keep going. Na gut, dann mal versuchen wir schnell hinter uns zu bringen. That's the stuff. And if you could place it here. Very well. Schön tief ein- und ausatmen. Gleich haben wir es geschafft. Oh Gott. Die Arme, ey. Was ist? Unter, oder? Muss doch runter jetzt. Oder nicht? Hä? Oh, ey, weh, ich muss jetzt den ganzen Weg jetzt nochmal zu dir und dann wieder zurück. So, wohin? Ja, los jetzt. Let's take the elevator, my dear. Und dann möchte ich endlich erfahren, was Phase ist. Heute beenden wir den, den Spaß. Heute möchte ich es erfahren. Wer oder was sind wir? Heute kommen wir auf die Lösung. This is insane! Yes, and highly dangerous. Let's lock the weaver into place so you can go. How do we do that? Insert the gravity tool into these three keyholes and pull down. Okay. Dann, uff jetzt. Nummer eins. Nummer zwei. Und Nummer drei. Well done, Patterson. Oh. Was ist? Wieder hoch. Bin ich gespannt. War eine lange Reise. Jetzt kommen wir endlich dem Ende, ne? Und die Antwort auf unsere Fragen wird endlich gelöst. Oh, 
who the fuck are we? Deliver the okay. Message. All systems go. And Miss Patterson, thank you again for all you've done. Okay, and let's have a look. Einsetzen. So, haben wir eine Freude, Albert. I can't do this much longer. I don't know what's in that lab, but it's doing a number on me. Mm, then let's move quickly. The sooner I can get out of the parallel, the sooner I can find out what happened to Rena. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> That's better. Hey, listen. I've been thinking about that. What if it turns out that she's not okay? What do you mean? Well, I mean, look what happened to you. Half your mind split off into a million bits, trapped in this parallel place. That's pretty bad. All I'm saying is, don't get your hopes up, you know? Anything could have happened. What do you think happened to Rena? Do you have a sense, a feeling of what might have happened to her? Mm, no, mm, not, not exactly. <sighs> I'm ready for my next dose. Mm -hmm. Not exactly, you say. But perhaps you feel something. Do you think she's all right? Do you think she's still with us? Do you think she's got something she wants to tell us? Cat got your tongue, Patterson. Hey, man. I didn't sign up for any weird whatever this is. Just give me my reward and I'll get out of your hair for good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Could you dose me one last time? That's Samar. I suppose I'm a bit frightened myself, frankly. It all comes down to this moment. I can only hope we've done our job properly. Go back and prep the machine. Run, Vida! I'll be able to cross back over. And then we can conclude our business. Oh, man! Ist nicht dein Ernst, er ist hin und her gelaufen. We did it. Talbot? Was? Is that you? You sound different. Role-playing is part of my job, Miss Patterson. In case you were wondering, we're in the lab. You're down there, and I'm up here. I'm stuck, Talbot. I'm stuck in this chair. That's because you're wearing restraints. Nothing to be alarmed about. It's for your own protection. What? Try to hold still. We haven't removed the probes from your skull yet. I'm asleep. Oh, no. You've been asleep for a while, but uh, you're awake now. What? What's happening? This uh, will come as a bit of a shock, I'm afraid, but I must tell you, you've been in a coma for the past three weeks. What? Yes. <laughs> Medically induced, of course. I'm all perfectly safe. You were badly injured during the police chase. Huh? What police chase? We had to induce you in order to reduce the swelling in your brain. We've been working on you for a while. It was the only way to find out what really happened. Nothing happened. Oh, something definitely happened. That's why we're here today. Do you remember our discussions about the mind and how it works? How we hide secrets from ourselves, bury them in our subconscious? Sometimes we bury things so deep that we truly forget them. But they're there. And with a little skillful fishing, we can get them out. What are you talking about? I said once that most people organize their memories into palaces in the mind. But you, uh, you built a mind fortress. Very hard to penetrate. I don't know. You remember the mansion. But did you know, that wasn't my home. That was yours. Wait. What are you talking about? I'm not an old man from a million years ago. None of those memories were mine. Well, it's true that you're you. 23-year-old. Female. Correct. So, 
How could any of those memories be mine? We theorize that if we show the memory recall as yours, if we reveal your buried memories as they truly are, it would cause your mind fortress to batten down the hatches, and that would endanger our case. You block those memories, after all. For good reason. Huh? Case? What case? For a breach of your mind to be successful, we decided it was safer to speak of, um, false memories and pretend they were mine. We added in some details from my grandfather's life, dropped them into your unconscious early on. Power of suggestion and all that. You did the rest. I must say, you have a vivid imagination. It's incredible how the mind stitches disparate thoughts and notions together. You've been lying to me. Well, not exactly. I mean, my name is Talbot, that part is true. But I'm not a college professor. I'm a detective. You're a what? And you <laughs> are a suspect. Well, or should I say, you were a suspect. There's no question of your guilt now. Let me out of this chair! All of our interactions, except for this one, of course, took place in your mind. You were the host. I was simply the guest. I should have left you down there to die. Mm. Careful. Mind the probes. What about Rena? What about all that crap about finding her in the parallel? Rena's not in the parallel, Patterson. Huh? Then where is she? I think you know the answer to that. Me? Why would I know? I'm Rena. Not to hide. Your subconscious was very resistant to us. We decided that we had to quarantine part of your memories away from you so that you wouldn't fall out of the illusion. Our quarantine seems to have worked. You've even managed to disconnect from the sound of Rena's name. Remember her? What is this? We were never going to get to the truth without your help. We needed to methodically catalog your mind to record your neural pathways so that you and I would have full access to what really happened. Remember the keys I asked you to find? The puzzles I asked you to solve? The Eiffel Tower, the stupid chess pieces. Yeah, yeah, I remember. A mind that's trying to solve a puzzle is a mind that is opening up, that is searching for something, and that is necessary to our work. <laughs> Those objects all meant something to you once. You're wrong. They didn't mean anything to me. Well, they used to, until you blocked the associated memories. They were designed to trigger something in your mind. To open a pathway to a memory that you've chosen to forget. Memories of your life with Rena. This is insane. I don't know anybody named Rena. Don't you? No! The closer we got to the truth, the harder it was for you. You remember those visits to the lab? How ill you felt? Shut up! Your mind was opening up. Memories were flooding back faster than ever before. It put a strain on your mind. It was difficult to assimilate so much information at once. Stop talking. S stop talking. Yeah, it's difficult to face the truth, Patterson. I don't want to talk anymore. You do know Rena. No. You know her very well. Shh. Shh. She wasn't my wife, was she, Patterson? No. Shh. It's all right. The quarantine in your mind has been lifted. You know the truth. It's time to admit it. To me, and to yourself. It hurts. I made up stories about Rena and about our life together. These were lies, but of course, she wasn't a lie. I can't explain. She was real. A woman with a full life ahead of her. I don't want to. Whose wife was she? Mine. She was my wife. That's right, Patterson. Very good. And what happened between the two of you? Don't make me say it. That's the beauty of this process. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have to confess. We already know. We, we saw everything. All the memories you've had in your mind. We recorded them all. Please. Please let me out of this chair. I think you know I can't do that. You committed a crime, after all. A very serious one. No. 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 What? happened to Rena, Patterson. Marcus. Shh, just say it. It will go easier if you do. I can't. You can. Why, Patterson? Why is she dead? Because of me. Exactly. But 
But, but I can explain. You already have. In full. But, but it was an accident. It wasn't supposed to go that way. But it did go that way. You'd been drinking. Your motorcycle crashed. She died. It's, it's a short story, isn't it? The kind of thing that happens every day. I screwed up. I know. But you tried to hide the body. Run away from what you'd done. If you had just told the truth, you could have spared her parents so much anguish. And you'd probably receive some mercy from the courts. Please. Please, you don't understand. But you didn't tell the truth. You tried to hide. We found you. You showed us the truth. And now you have to live with the consequences. If there's a crime, there has to be a punishment, too. The rich get justice in this world, Miss Madison. And Rena's family was very, very rich. <laughs> You'll be in the hospital at first. You'll need time to recover from the procedures. They were quite invasive. Once you're back to full health, we can proceed to the sentencing phase. Subconscious memories are admissible in the court of law now, you know. They're considered evidence. Rock solid, in fact. I don't... I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. You're a very smart girl. You'll have plenty of time to reflect on this. And Addison, truly, thank you. I couldn't have done this work without you. And I have you vertraut. Albert! Albert! Wow! Mein Blogen! Aber ich hatte es ein Gefühl. Ich hatte es ein Gefühl, dass dass das alles nicht real ist, sondern alles nur ein Konstrukt unserer Fantasie ist, hat er ja auch teilweise ja im, im Verlauf erklärt. Gedankenpalast. Metapher für das Herrenhaus sozusagen. Dass, dass ich aber Rina bin, das... Ich, 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 ich wäre nie auf, darauf gekommen. Nein, wir sind ja nicht Rina. Halt, stopp. Nein. Rina ist die Frau, die wir quasi verschachert haben, weil sie betrunken Motorrad gefahren ist. Klar, Motorrad war ein, war ein, äh, ein Schlüssel. Aber Alkohol, wie kommt man auf den Alkohol? Hat, hat sie das gesagt? Oder, oder dass es ein Unfall war? Klar. Wenn man so überlegt, er hat ja gesagt, er möchte den Aufenthaltsort von Rina finden den wir gesucht haben. Quasi, der als Detektiv möchte jetzt wissen, wo die Leiche verscharrt ist. Und die Familie ist ja wohlhabend und hat genug Geld, um das herauszufinden. Deswegen auch diese Prozedur mit dieser Maschine. Aber wir sind nicht zum Schluss gekommen, wo sie ist. Puh. Boah, Leute. Doch, also... Props an die Entwickler. Oh, ich bin, ich bin geflasht. Aber auch froh zugleich, dass es jetzt vorbei ist, dass wir jetzt eigentlich auf die Lösung gekommen sind. Ja, wir werden sehen. Ne, wir werden nichts mehr sehen. Das war's jetzt. Das war die letzte Folge. Wir warten noch. Vielleicht passiert noch irgendetwas. Die Grafik war top, die Score war gut. Es war ein bisschen eintönig manchmal. Mit dem Lag-Problem natürlich, war auch da. Bin ich eigentlich an sich jetzt nicht so gewohnt. Außer es ist jetzt ein wirklich ein sehr aufwendiges Spiel. War es jetzt in dem Fall jetzt ja auch nicht. Es war ja trotzdem ein geschlossenes System. Was ja aber nicht heißt, dass es schlecht war. Es hat ja alles Hand und Fuß gehabt, nicht aus der Umgebung raus zu können, wenn man so jetzt nachdenkt. Wir waren ja in unserem... Gedanken drin. Die Musik war top. Geschichte phänomenal. Hätte ich ehrlich gesagt nicht gedacht, dass aus dem Rätsel 
Spiel dann doch wirklich ein Sci-Fi-Krimi wurde. Vollkommen übertroffen. Ja, was soll ich sagen? Von der Skala von 1 bis 10 würde ich sagen, würde ich dem Spiel 9 von 10 geben. Da mich halt trotzdem performance-technisch was gestört hat. Es war ein bisschen eintönig, aber im Großen und Allem doch 9 von 10. Es hat meine Erwartungen übertroffen. Da auch hier nochmal Dank an das Thorn Team, auch von meiner Seite aus. Ja. Ich warte noch, was am Ende noch kommt. Ob da noch was kommt? Jetzt müsst ihr wahrscheinlich den Abschluss vom Outro erreicht haben. Und sind dann im Hauptmenü. Puh, war eine aufregende Zeit. Meine letzten Worte richte ich noch in der Atmod. Bis gleich. Trotzdem schön, wieder hier zu sein. Die Sonne scheint auch. Ist mir gar nicht aufgefallen. Aber wir haben Thorn beendet. Ist die letzte Folge gewesen. Mit, wie gesagt, einem äh, guten Schluss. Mehr als übertroffen. Ich bin geflasht. Danke nochmal an die Entwickler. Auf jeden Fall. War eine sch schöne Zeit. Und ich bin gespannt auf mehr. In der Richtung. Und genau sowas liebe ich in VR. Sowas wirklich hautnah, emotional zu fühlen, zu empfinden, zu, zu erleben. Und das muss ich erstmal sacken lassen. Ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Lasst mir ein Like da. Schreibt mir in die Kommentare. Ich würde mich freuen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Euer Andrew Fox. Ciao. Hat euch das Video gefallen? Dann lasst ein Like da und abonniert den Fuchs.